good morning students welcome to lila's tutorial so in last class we have discussed about maintenance of the cell cultures so today we'll discuss about the second application that is toxicity testing right so why we need to go for the toxicity testing that is if there is any chemical compound which is produced or any drug produced by the pharmaceutical industry that has to be tested on the animals so nowadays we are not going to cause any harm to the animals we are not going to kill the animals right so here we instead of using the animals what we are doing we are making use of our cell lines or animal cell lines to test those drugs on those cell lines so what can be that harmful toxic chemicals it can be any agricultural chemicals or it can be some uh, new drugs which are produced or it can be some food additives or anything so whatever you want to uh, test it that you can test by using our cell cultures or the cell lines so here you can see toxicity testing is to analyze the effect of toxic chemicals right so the toxic chemicals present in any compound whatever you want to test that can be analyzed and you can know the what is the range how much dose it has to be given if it is in case of uh, therapeutic drugs what concentration must be given to the adult and what concentration must be given to the children right so here in the toxicity testing here animal cells are used for toxicity testing of new drugs it can be a chemical or it can be an cosmetics right so whatever the compound is there whatever the new compound that has to be marketed that has to go for this toxicity testing right so then here you have why you are using these and cell cultures so as i told you in order to prevent the cause of harm to the animals we doesn't want to cause any harm to the animals or we doesn't want to kill any animal so instead of using the animal or testing the toxic chemicals or the new products on animals we are indirectly testing by uh, by testing on the cell lines right so here what type of cell lines you can use so you can't use uh, any type of cell line mostly we uh, we test the pharmaceutical drugs mainly on kidney derived cell lines or liver derived cell lines so what is the effect on those cell lines what is the maximum or the minimum effect of that particular drug on those cell lines so based on their growth and proliferation they will validate whether the drug is harmful at a particular concentration or it should be given at very low doses to the children so like that they are going to analyze the chemical or the drug if you see here it is in vitro toxicology right so in vitro as you know in vitro is outside the body we are not testing on the animal directly we are indirectly isolating the animal cells tissues or organs from the animals and then the cultured cells we are testing the chemicals on the cultured cells in the lab right that is called as in vitro in vitro is in the lab or outside the body right so toxicology or toxicity testing is done in lab right so this is referred as in vitro toxicology so let us see what are the steps involved in the toxicology testing so first thing is optimization of the cell cultures so what do you mean by optimization of the cell cultures that means you need to provide unfavorable environment to the cultured cells what can be the favorable environment that can be your physio physico chemical uh, features like ph osmo osmotic condition temperature right and what are the other requirements it can be the essential nutrients or the nutrient supplements what you are providing to this cell so you need to provide them with glucose or the carbohydrate supplement or amino acids vitamins minerals hormones growth factors so on so when you provide the cells with complete favorable uh, environment the cells will 
grow rapidly and they will proliferate you are not going to starve the cells and test the toxicity you are going to provide all the favorable conditions to the cells then when they are at a very active stage of growth and proliferation then you are going to go for the testing so first thing is isolation of the cells tissues or organs whatever the explant you want to take right you if you are going to take the cells you are going to disaggregate select the tissue then disaggregate the tissue into cells and then on those cell lines or the cell culture you are going to test that one so first step will be optimization of the cell cultures you have to grow the animal cells in favorable conditions right so by optimizing what is the optimum requirement for that particular cell right based on that then the second one is selection of assay for toxicity testing so here you have to select the assay what type of assay will be suitable for that particular drug on particular cells right based on the cell and the drug you are testing you have to select the assay right so here it can be analytical assay or it can be your applied toxicology that is nothing but the modern techniques right analytical where you are going to simply determine uh, uh, determine the chemical properties of that toxin then coming to the third step it is development of biomarkers for in vitro toxic toxicity evaluation right so here the biomarkers are safely validated right these biomarkers help us to analyze the safety analysis method can be done where the biomarkers used can be biological biomarkers or histologic biomarkers radiographic biomarkers or physiologic biomarkers so by using the biomarkers you can analyze very easily the assessment will be very easy when the there is an harm or the range increases the biomarkers acts as an indicators right so here coming to the next step after optimization selection of the assay you are making use of certain biomarkers any one of the biomarker can be used based on the technique then it is the data interpretation so in case of data interpretation it is nothing but reviewing the data so now here you have selected the cell right you have selected either kidney or the liver cell okay if suppose you are selecting the liver cell now you have to maintain the cell line right so disaggregation process then after disaggregation of the liver tissue the cells must be isolated then you are going to culture them in an favorable animal tissue culture media providing all the uh, nutrients and also the physico chemical environment to them then once they form an cell lines then you are going to test or then you are going to test them by the suitable assay method after the assay method you are going to involve the biomarkers so now you know what type of test you are going to use whether it is an analytical or applied toxicology or whatever technique what is the methodology you are using what are the chemicals you are using for testing or what are the equipments you are using for testing so after a uh, complete validation or complete assessment you are going to review the data that is nothing but data interpretation after performing a practical you get the result right so that is nothing but your data interpretation where you are reviewing the data right reviewing the data and checking the or you are finalizing or you are concluding right you are concluding the toxicity levels of the particular drug the last step is validation of in vitro test method so here the validation is nothing but the documented process of ensuring test the method whatever you are using or the equipment or the chemicals whatever you are using that must be documented for that particular toxicity testing is that clear so here in this is the second application of cell cultures first application is 
manufacturing second one is toxicity testing and the third application that is tissue engineering we'll discuss in the next class subscribe for further videos